Come. Hello, and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley, and each day, sort of at the end of the clinic, we come in and describe or discuss something about an interesting case today. And so today we're going to discuss um, a young woman who came in referred from the emergency room who came in complaining of severe pain in her eye. She wears soft contact lenses and for the past week has been complaining of eye irritation and gradually yesterday she had a sudden increase in the severity of her pain went to the emergency room um, this morning and then was referred over uh, to the office. Um, she came in, like I said, in severe pain and photophobia, that is sensitivity to light, and on examination her eye was extremely inflamed, that is the white part was very red and inflamed and injected, and on the surface of her cornea, the front surface of the cells or the epithelium of her cornea was all irritated, irregular, and um, um, like she had maybe overworn her contact lens. And also on her cornea she had an ulcer. So she came in uh, with a corneal ulcer beginning in her eye. Uh, and what is a corneal ulcer? So that is just like a boil or abscess you would get on your skin somewhere where there's all sort of pussy and whatnot is the same thing that happens on your cornea. That is, it's a smaller area and we're dealing with something very small, but we have all these white blood cells that have come into this infection and you have an ulcer or a white area on, on the cornea. And this is a severe eye problem, or potentially severe eye problem, depending on how well things go. So uh, it sort of depends on the type of bacteria that is infecting her cornea and um, we started her on treatment uh, this morning uh, to get her eye to, to improve and, and to get rid of the infection. So what are the things about wearing contact lenses and soft contact lenses? There are contact lenses on the market that are for extended wear, that is you sleep in the contact lens. And they have enough oxygen permeability that your eye is able to do that. But that is a foreign material that's in your eye and you are at risk of getting an infection and in a severe case a corneal ulcer like this young person developed and these are potentially blinding type infections. There have been studies to show that even with an extended wear lens that's, that has been approved for sleeping in that you have up to a ten times higher rate of a corneal ulcer or infection by sleeping in your contact lenses. Now we're still talking small numbers uh, so instead of one out of a thousand, it's ten of a thousand, or what the particular study uh, shows. I forgot exactly. You know, it's been a long time since I looked at that study, but somewhere in those kind of numbers. So it's still a very small number, but it's still a lot higher than if you took your lens out and cleaned it every day. Um, so today we started her on extensive uh, antibiotic treatment. That is, she's taken an antibiotic, one drop in her eye every hour. Uh, while awake and she is coming back in a couple of days to see how she's progressing. The ulcer wasn't very large and wasn't very deep so I think she will do well but uh, it's going to take some time and, and it may she may be out of uh, wearing contact lenses for at least a couple of weeks and depending on how she feels after the severe pain shoes and she may decide how she's going to wear contacts at all because she was very uncomfortable. So if you have any questions about contact lenses and, and corneal ulcers, uh, you can contact us through the website. Be happy to try to answer any questions you have. If not, uh, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.